Welcome to our Meshtastic for Makers workshop, a string of guides where we explore Meshtastic and its practical uses in wireless communications for your maker projects. Traditionally, Meshtastic has been used as more of a hobby or as a method of communicating off grid. You'd have a Meshtastic device like this, which connects to your phone, and with this setup, you can message somebody else that also has a Meshtastic device. It's a cool kind of text based walkie talkie that doesn't need an internet connection or cell service or anything. It is its own network. We are are instead going to be using this system to send messages and data between microcontrollers, an essential skill in a lot of makeup projects. And this has a lot of benefits over other methods of wirelessly sending data. First of all, it's independent. If the internet goes down, you're fine. You are building your own network. It's also quite long range for how little power it actually uses. Meshtastic uses LoRa, which is low power enough to be run off battery, but still able to send messages several kilometers. It does depend on your setup though and the environment you're transmitting in, but you can get a few hundred meters to a few kilometers. But the biggest benefit is that it's a meshing network as in each device repeats a message that it receives. So the more devices you have in an area, the better the coverage you get. And you can also work with other people to combine your networks and build a community off-grid network for everyone to use, but we'll get into that later. So over the course of this workshop, we'll be learning a little bit more about what Meshtastic is and how it works. We'll also look at how to set up the Pico on the network and how to actually use it in your projects through examples like sending sensor readings, controlling hardware, hardware with messages over the network and how to connect this network to an MQTT broker. So if you want to have a little fun with some 21st century radio communications, let's get right into it.